I already did the some books are more equal than others joke when I unboxed the artist edition, so I can't do it here, but this is where the joke would have gone. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, so back in December of 2022, I unboxed the artist edition of Animal Farm by Suntup. And at the time, I declared it was the best artist edition Suntup had ever done. And I stand by that. It's letterpress and just gorgeous, beautiful art by Omar Rayan and beautiful binding and all of that. So it's, it's still the most amazing artist edition I own. Well, today I have the numbered edition of Animal Farm, and this has been a long time coming. There have been probably unspoken binder issues. There was an issue with the relationship with this binder who was doing the book, and a lot of it was unspoken until the books have arrived and people are noticing defects in the vellum on the spine. So the Suntup used the same material that they used to bind I Am Legend, and it's vellum along the spine. And it's a beautiful, wonderful material when it's done right. Um, and in the preferred state, the normal state, it's milky white. Well, some of the material they used to bind the books had discoloration, and instead of discarding that vellum, they bound the books with that vellum. And then they shipped them to Suntup. And when Suntup got the pallet of books, the freight company also mishandled the pallet, uh, taking some books out in the process. The print run of any publisher accommodates an overrun. So they'll, they'll do like 350 books is the official print run, but there'll be what, 20, 30, maybe, I don't know, uh, additional copies in case there's damage during shipping to the customers then Suntup has a copy they can replace with. So anyway, when they were numbering the books and boxing them up, they noticed some of these books had this discoloration and they didn't have replacement copies to swap them with. So the solution was to send the book out with a letter offering the customer two options. Number one, it would be um, a full refund if returned within seven days. Number two is a partial refund of 25% in the form of store credit that you could then use to buy another Suntup book. Obviously, they're letting the people decide what is worth it. So there are degrees of this discoloration. Some of them are apparent and obvious, and you can't avoid seeing them. Some of them are more subtle. And so perhaps people are like, okay, well, I have a defective one, but it's not worth replacing and returning. It's really not bothersome to me. I'll just take the 25%, call it a day, go about my life. So that's where we're at. So now the books are dropping and people are opening the boxes with a bit of trepidation. I saw Paul Suntup make a statement just today on the fans page saying that he's no longer using that book binder. He's gonna talk about it at his next live. And if you don't go to those lives, I encourage you to do it. It's every, um, every month Paul Suntup goes live on the, his Suntup Facebook page to talk about books that were shipped, upcoming titles, whatever. Um, whatever is new and new newsworthy at that moment. And this is going to be talked about at that next live. So obviously if you're watching this video eight months from now, that's been and gone. You could probably find it on the Suntup Facebook page. All those videos are still there. <clears throat> and you can see how it's handled. But in the more immediate future, I'm unboxing this book to share with you. Now, I did unbox it. I did cut the tape earlier, but my microphone wasn't on. <laughs> and so I've, this is my second take of a video, and you should know by my high standards of quality, I only ever do one take. So that's why the box is open. I haven't seen it yet. I have not seen the book, so I don't know if I got a damaged one with a letter with these two options before me because I had cut the tape and then because I was jostling the box, I was bumping my microphone. I'm like, oh, I'm bumping my microphone. And then I looked down and that green light wasn't there. I'm like, oh, come on. I got to do this all over again. So that's why the tape is cut. Uh, and there was... Um, I did discuss a little bit that the humidity in Tennessee was uh, making adhesives 
fail. So that's some of this is floppy because that's how it arrived. But of course, it has form fitted foam. I'm not concerned about shipping damage. Um, so we're going to see. I, I do hope that the damage, if I have any, is substantial and is decisive so that I can say my path forward is very clear, a full refund, or it's pristine and I'm, I have one of the lucky ones that got... Actually, I don't know if I'd be the lucky one or if I'm in the majority. I don't know how many were damaged or discolored. I don't know. So um, anyway, here we go. Uh, this is me actually seeing the book for the first time. So form-fitted foam. See, I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm bumping the box into my microphone. See again? I'm going to check again. Yeah, the light's on, so it's working. So let me take the foam out. So far, so good. I don't know if the letter would be on top or if you'd be under it. So there is the bookmark. I showed this to you previously. I have the artist edition after all. So let me take the book. Okay. There's no letter in here. No letter. So that should mean the vellum is not one of the distressed ones. And I don't see anything wrong with it. Let me take this out. There's the little pig motif on the slipcase. The nice label there, Animal Farm. And here is the spine of the book where people are seeing this coloration. It looks good to me. It looks totally clean to me. Um, Orwell, Animal Farm, there it is. So normally I would not focus so much on details um, like this. It seems like I'm documenting, which I kind of am, but it looks beautiful and perfect to me. So I am very happy. Um, now it's been random who's gotten discolored ones because they just take them off the pile. They, they, they attach a letter, they number them, put them in a box, and, and ship them off. I'm not entirely sure how that process was done, but um, there's the spine. The really wild, super flat spine to it. Um, ooh, it's it's got a, a unique huffing quality. And then people were also saying that it was hard to open. My book is not difficult to open. It's, it's, oh, that Omar Rayon art. Oh, gorgeous. So um, I am thrilled to have this book in my collection. This is a brilliant story that I think everyone should read, especially in the times we're living in. Read it once a year. Have a copy for your kids to read. I try to recommend books to my childs and this would be one of them for sure this in 1984 and handmaid's tale but handmaid's tale maybe when they're a little older you know what i'm saying you just know you know what i'm saying um let me get to that signature page where we have richard blair and uh who is the son of george orwell and omar rayan who has a very beautiful elaborate signature and, of course, number 23. Um, so another beautiful book to add to my collection, a worthy, timeless classic of uh, totalitarian dangers, and it's in beautiful condition. So you guys can all check another one off the list. This is a beautiful book. Don't know how many damaged copies were, and I think that's something... Um, Paul will address at the next live. If you're getting this book, please share in the comments below what you got, what the condition was, what you decided to do. I'd be very interested to know. I don't think there's a wrong decision. I've seen some people saying absurd things like, hey, 
why don't you take grease or oil and rub the rest of the spine so it all matches? Okay, well, that's further damaging the vellum. That's stupid. Then I've seen people say, um, I like the way it looks. Well, that's, that's subjective. You might like the way it looks, and that's fine for you. Um, but, you know, it might not be fine for someone else who, like, no, this is not the stated, this is not the condition I paid for. Hey, so me and Willow were sitting here editing the video, and <clears throat> I, I feel like I didn't say enough when I talked about Paul Suntup's response to this, and I think he did a great job. I think he did the only thing he probably could have done. Some people were wondering, why didn't he give a notice and say that there were damaged copies before he even sent them out? But that I don't think that matters. Uh, I don't think you can just tell people that there's this damage until they see it, that people have to see the book and make the call for themselves. So I just wanted to say that. Um, I think a lot of heat might be thrown Paul's way over this, and inevitably, you're not going to make everybody happy. There's no such thing as a one-size-fits-all solution. But <clears throat> Paul gave a couple of ways to go. So if you think this book isn't up to your standards, you can get a full refund. And and no hurt feelings. He, he'll send you a label that you could put right on the box so you don't have to pay to ship it back. And then you get all the money back. So there's no risk. You know, it, it's a bummer if this was a book you were really looking forward to and yours was damaged. So, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you're wrong for being upset. <laughs> not at all. Um, I'm just saying that it's a, it's a tough spot to be in. And I think Paul handled it the best way possible. So I just wanted to say that on here. Right, Willow? What do you think, Willow? You, you agree? Yeah, I think she agrees. I am thrilled to have it. It looks gorgeous. Love the slipcase. All, all beautiful. Very thin. It's printed letterpress. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here this time. And I hope to see you again next time. But in the meantime, stay frosty.